I expect this season to be very interesting. I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the relegation zone. These are the Kingstonian Diaries. My name is Daljit. Welcome to Bustin' It. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button to stay in touch for more videos like this. So the situation is pretty difficult. Um, we started the season off on the wrong foot. We lost to Portsmouth 3-0. We drew against Bristol. We managed to get uh, beat Wimbledon but they in League 1. The challenge right now is for me to play with the squad that I have because we went out we asked the ass man, rather we asked the director of football to give us some recommendations. He gave us some recommendations and it turns out that half of that, those recommendations weren't really good. Uh, and we, we, we kind of like, we're kind of reaching a point where I want to ask myself a serious question. Do I want to stick with the DOF? Because it's, 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 it's difficult. But we want to stay true to the safe as, for as long as I can. And then you know, see whether I can get promoted with the DOF's recommendations. It's becoming a DOF quasi dafute challenge, which is uh, not exactly something I had planned on, but let's see how far this can go. We managed to sign a couple of players, right? So he, this is one of the recommendations, Dennis Politic. He's not bad. He's a Romanian. He's the number that you want to get in the championship. Maybe to avoid relegation, is about 12 to 13. So he's, he meets that number. And then we managed to get Mo Adams. Mo Adams is definitely a player I, I like because even though he's not very fast, he plugs a hole in our team. We don't have a ball-winning midfielder. So he comes in as a ball-winning midfielder. And we also managed to sign Alan Chapchet. Young defender, doesn't have bravery. So this is the, this is the thing that's annoying me. I like bravery in defenders. However... Sometimes you can't expect them to have bravery. And he wants to come in as an important player. Can you imagine that? His value is only 96k. He wants to come in as an important player. But we have to straight... We're going to have to do things. But the player I'm most excited about is Ben Nugent. Now, why am I excited about Ben Nugent? You know, he, he's nothing to shout at. But do you remember Gloucester City Diaries? Stephen Arthur Worry. Championship. We signed him. All he had going for him was... The fact that he could jump <laughs> and hit. That was the only thing in his game, right? So we managed to get promoted with Stephen Arthurbury as one of the most prolific defenders in our team. But I knew what I was doing then. Now we've got this guy. So he reminds me of Stephen Arthurbury. I can't help myself, right? I see somebody who reminds me of a player I used before and I, I just have to use them again. I'm so attached to players from the past. That I can't leave them behind. So when I see them, it's like seeing an old friend. In Ben Nugent's case, he reminds me of an old friend. Uh, and uh, we also signed this guy, Olofela Olomola. Now, this is another really strange story because pre-season training. So there we are, we're playing a couple of games and we play Glasgow Rangers. Olofola, Olofela Olomola scores two goals. I'm so impressed with him. I go, we have to use him. <laughs> so I signed him on the spot. And I'm like, why have I signed him? <laughs> but he has, and then we got another striker, a corner hall. But none of them are that. They're just average. So here we have another player, John Kimani Gordon. He is actually a player that's come through the ranks. Right, he's come through the ranks and he's now a part of our team. In case you're wondering, that is a region face, a new gen face, right? Um, if you're wondering where I got those uh, that face pack from, this face pack comes from Chilt Moose. If you're interested in using any of these face packs, you can always check her Patreon out. It's Chilt Moose. Uh, you find her Patreon description in the video below. Please give her a shout. I give I'm giving her a shout out because I think these face packs, I'm a bit late in the game. <laughs> a lot of people are using her face packs. And it, they're fantastic. So if you're lucky enough to have gotten the face packs a while ago when she released them on a free, I hope that you're enjoying them. They they it's not that difficult to set up. You know, you might make a couple of mistakes, but just be weary, just be aware of the kind of images your skin needs. That was the first mistake I made. <laughs> They've got several sizes you can use. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of nice. I like the face packs a lot. So I gave John Kimani Gordon this face. Literally, that's what you end up doing. You choose a player, give them a face that you like. So I gave him this face. So I'm going to... 
I'm gonna do my best by him and see what we can do because I kind of like him because look at this he's decent right he's got finishing he's got composure a bit of agility can improve his balance maybe with some training I don't know <laughs> I'm he's already scored one goal it's not like he scored a lot but we gotta have faith we gotta have faith with some of our players I, I just don't have the heart to chuck them to one side that's my problem right now and so what have I done I've I used this system originally called the magic box uh, well it's a variation of the it's a variation of the dark side system the dark side system is really strong but it needs players so I had to modify it slightly to something I like to call the King's Variant because this is a rem reminds me of a 4231 narrow I used in the FM17. Almost similar. Except in that one I had this guy punching for this guy punching for or this guy dropping deep and this guy punching. I can't really remember right now, but it's almost close. We had a double um we had a deep pair here. Sometimes I move the pair into midfield. So once this team starts getting a bit stronger and I'm more aware, I might modify this again to play it as a, a 4 2 in the middle. The only reason why I can't do that at the moment is because more Adams' acceleration is only 10. And Joe Hanks, I need to actually reconsider whether I'm gonna be using Joe Hanks in this system. He's he's um tackling isn't that good so because his tackling isn't so good i just need him to be a body <laughs> right in front of defense and uh yeah we we can only hope for the best so there might be other players playing in the system like george bell i might give george bell a run run out as well so this is another player that can play here so george bell could be asked to play in this position he's off the ball might not be too good but at least he has um he has that some positioning but seriously it's a case of which players will not as bad as the other player so what am i going to do there are players that i want to give a run run out to but at the moment i'm sticking to tried and tested players like jack Steele. another you see the region face new gen face again yeah i just love these new gen faces this is making me happy this, I had to find little things in the game to make me happy because I was so depressed when I looked at the game. I kept talking about it on Twitch as well. So what are we going to do here? We're going to have to go with Joe Hanks, right? So that's the that's the player I want to start with. And we'll see how we do. So in terms of training, um, we're going for the full Monty. Match preparation activities leading up to the match against Reading. Yes, that is the big game coming up. The match against Reading. As we build up to this match, we're accepting scouting center trials. Yes. They come through the door. We're going to give them a chance. And hopefully, hopefully, we find somebody in there who's willing to play for us. Okay. Kingstonian. To, we're going to be playing Newcastle. Holy cow. This is going to be a good trip. We're playing Newcastle. Yay! <laughs> Time for us to get hammered again. Positive fluid. We're just going to have to hope that we do okay. That's it. I'm not expecting miracles. I'm just trying to avoid relegation this season because I have to be very realistic. We don't have the players to stay up. So this could be a case of me doing my best just to stay out of relegation now. So tactically, this is uh, the setup, but we haven't got... I want to make sure that I've got the right players playing today. I'm really going by the book boy this time. Every player that's got teamwork, work rate, and determination, chances are these guys are the ones who are going to be playing. Brad Potts is a MRC, right? So we got Shaburni. His teamwork, work rate is pretty good. Dennis Politic, he's not too bad. And then we got Connor Hall. Um, we got Brad Potts. He can play on the wide right. So Adam Phillips is going to sit out for Brad Potts. Okay, so we've got Brad Potts playing. And then we've got Connor Hall. Connor is a striker, but I'm more likely to want to use John Kimani Gordon. His team isn't that good, but it doesn't mean that he can't play because this guy is just an out-and-out -out striker. So I don't really care about strikers so much. Uh, the striker position isn't something I would be worried about. Dennis Politic, the only reason why I want him to start ahead of maybe Adam Phillips is because, or even... Uh, yeah, Adam Phillips was because of his preseason form. We also got other players here. I got Tim Parker. He's, he's not fit. Um, otherwise, I might give him a run. Uh, we might actually take a chance and go without any more strikers. Yeah, we're gonna let let Connor Hall sit this one out. Then Nugent, uh, I think he still he took a knock in the last game. 
so we're gonna have to, i'm gonna put him on the bench uh, i'm gonna we definitely need plenty of options so gonna, we'll have to go with nugent playing today all right let's see whether all the players are available okay so none of them are injured um 80 85 83 well that's fine okay so here we go <laughs> oh yeah i we're gonna go with kimani god and the youngster i know i've got a heart man <laughs> i can't help myself it's like that guy is a kid i mean he's been with us right so like I just have to play those players who came through with us, right? So John Kimani Gordon will lead the line. This is going to be a pretty brutal experience for him as well. So we just we just have to hope. We just have to hope for the best. Something tells me that we're going to have a really hard time today. <laughs> Any result is a good result. All right, we're going to encourage the boys. It's the first day out. Okay, Kingstonian. We don't want to, we don't want to see this. We definitely don't want to see that. <laughs> okay, we got Joe Hanks with a free kick. That's a good start. Oh, I hit her away. Not too bad. I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to raise the mentality straight away. It's a penalty. Unbelievable. It's just, I just don't understand how the penalty happened. Something I don't like about this game. What a save about Johns from Johnson. There should be like a highlight or you know replay of why the penalty happened. Some there's just that one bit of the game that always pisses me off. John Kimani Gordon has been brought down by clock. Come on, ref, you gotta give him a card. You gotta give him a card. He was away. Yes. We got the first card of the day. Alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hopefully put some pressure on them. Gibbons out on the white right. Gets in, gets it. It's Sh Shiburni shoots. Oh, we, okay, the boys are doing well. The words of encouragement have helped. Uh, where is this? Okay, now we want to see what kind of a player this guy is. His bravery is quite decent. Oh, okay. We don't want to. Yeah, we we're not gonna put pressure there just yet. Clark. Out to Everson. Yes. Who's this? Is that Mr. Gordon? Shivderski. Shivderski. Is Gibbs. Oh, he strikes it. It goes well wide. Okay, we got Johnson now. Plays it a chap shit to Lee. Out he goes to Mellish. Mellish with the ball. Plays it out to Potts. Potts now. What can he do? He gives it to Gibbons. Gibbons plays it back to Potts. Gag to Gibbons. Gibbons comes in. He tries to get by. Well, he does buy a corner. Could get the cross in, but still not too bad. We've got a Johan specialty coming up. Chat <laughs> again. We are depending on our corners, our set pieces. It's a good start. But this is the story I had in our again in our last league match. We had a we had a really good start. And sometimes they don't last. We don't have the players to play that kind of a game just yet. Yadam. Yadam. Well, it's blocked. We got a corner. Let's defend this, boys. Far post, please mark it. Mark the far post. Do we have the... We've got two players on... Yes, good work from the player who's been... Melish who's been told to mark the far post. Johnson out to Chapchit. Finds the Gibbons. Now the Hanks. I'm resting um Nugent, right? Because Nugent was had a knock, so we I don't wanna risk him. Gibbons. Gets inside, crosses it to Gordon. Gibbons again. Why didn't Gordon just fire John Kimani Gordon? Come on, young boy. We've got faith in you. You were there, you were in the right place at the right time Shudersky out wide Gibbons again blocks it blocks it again now for the far post Melish you know what to do come on Melish don't let them sneak up at the far post good yes Melish clears the danger Politic is not having a good Joe Hanks with a 
Shabani's header saved by the keeper. Again with okay. Might have to bring Nugent on. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to bring Nugent on. Genre, we're taking a big chance by keeping Nugent on the bench. Gary into the box. Cleared again by Lee. Lee is having a decent game. Jack Lee from last season. <laughs> Can you imagine? The player I signed to replace Jack Lee is not playing. His name is Ben Nugent. Politic gets away. Politic slides into John Kimani Gordon and he shoots Everson. Okay, never mind. Boy. My young boy. Uh, we're just going to demand more from you. It's not a bad start. This is how we start now. Okay. I still remember Portsmouth. Gary. Ooh, nice marking. But he's offside. I'm tense as hell. I am so tense. Okay, we've got Gibbs. Gary. This good marking. They're not letting him turn. Oh, red. Well read by politics. Politics away. John Kiman. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Yeah, the acceleration was in there, I guess. <laughs> now we have to defend. Shibdurski comes inside, shoots. Ah. As long as they keep trying. That's the, thing, that's the thing I like about having two DMs in our system. Spots, spots, spots. What have you done? <laughs> I got two AMSs. That's the only thing I can I can hope for. He's gonna stay wider and close down more. This guy's gonna stay wider and close down more. Unbelievable. We're down to ten men. Cleared again. That good start undone by Brad Potts. Well, He's going to pay two weeks fine now. <laughs> Can't understand what is wrong with Brad Potts. Well, we just have to hold out now. There's no point in us getting more defensive. Good defending again. The boys are playing brilliantly. Gary, cleared again. Gibbs, Shabdersky, more. Yes, again. Come on, boys, push them back. They try to pull us out and they get finally get the cross in, but it's too long. Yadam. Okay. Out he goes to Yadam again. Another block, another corner. This is going to be the story of our day. John Mellish at the far post. Chap Chat clears the danger. Gibbs finds more. More turns. Looks for a shooting opportunity. Is blocked by Gibbons again. Gibbons is having the match of his life. Okay, all right. Okay, we're gonna encourage the boys. They're playing quite well. They are playing quite well. I'm happy, but for once, we are happy. I'm. I'm actually gonna say what I feel. <laughs> I know that this is. I mean, this is one thing I don't like about FM, right? They, we always tell people, you know, one nil. Don't say. I know the logical thing is to say um, you're doing very well because we were expecting to get hammered by Reading. But in reality, 10 men down, we're playing quite well. And I want to say that. <laughs> I really do. Come on, boys. You're doing well. Just keep it going. Chap Chet clears the ball. <laughs> I was like, he clears the ball. It's not like I wanted him to do that. Okay, good. Strong challenge from John Mellish. I'm toying with the idea of actually bringing Nugent on. There is one option, right? Um, no, we'll we'll play the same way. Except now, I'm gonna leave Kimani Gordon on his own. Okay, he's an advance forward. There's no point, son. You just look for the opportunity to run. All right, so you are now a no nonsense center back. You are now a no nonsense center back. We've got two no nonsense center backs. The job is going to be simple just hoof the ball up. Hanks. Go oh, nicely down to Gibbons. Gibbons with the ball. Oh, 
you sweet thing you get it's sh money with another shot <laughs> Yo, man, the pressure, the pressure. I'm feeling the pressure. This will be a really good result if you can hold on to it. And we're playing on comprehensive highlights. Can you believe that? I, I don't do well on comprehensive highlights. I usually buckle under the pressure on comprehensive highlights. John Mellish is a 6. I don't understand why John Mellish is on 6.4. I seriously don't understand why. He's actually played quite well. But that is not the, that's not what the game sees, right? What? Oh, oh, sweet lord, <laughs> come on. <laughs> yes, look at them bite, look at them fight. They are fighting for every ball. It's a free kick to Kingstonian, it's 52 minutes on the clock, the longest day of my life. Lee, they've got to play it out, but we don't have to, they'll have to put it out to touch. Yes, they have. Okay, so what can we do? All right. Um, do we need to make a tactical change? Jack Lee's at 6.7. He's not playing badly. Mellish is at 6.6. .6. Brad Potts is a useless piece of... <laughs> Connor Kirby, midfielder. Olufela, Olomola. No, no, no. We, I still want to have faith in John Kimani Gordon. Right. We want to have faith in the young boy. Um... Uh, at the moment, no, we're not gonna make chance. We're not gonna. We're gonna encourage the boys still. It's a free kick, Gary, to take this. Puts it into the box. Another defensive header. Come on, boys, defend this, Gary. Into the box he goes. Politic with another great header. They put it away, and it's another great challenge. Come on, fifty-five minutes on the clock. Clark with a short throw puts him. Clark is it? He's got a chance to Connolly shoots. It's block rolls. You we got a player called Rolls Mellish. Camp plays it back. John Kimani Gordon is on his own. He's gonna try and do the best that he can. Clark brings the ball forward. It's stopped in his track by Politic. Rolls now gets it to Camp. They are all defending. Everybody's back, frustrated by the lack of feedback. <laughs> now I'm even paying attention to this. Come on, guys. Encourage, no, don't, 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 don't be frustrated, man. Don't be frustrated. Okay. Demand more. It's, it's politic. Back to Hanks. Joe Hanks. Out he goes to John Kimani Gordon. He's gone wide. He's going to hold the ball up for Gibbons. John Kimani Gordon comes inside. It's a free kick. He's offside. After all that melodrama. Demand more. Shaburni back to Hanks. Joe Hanks looks for John Kimani Gordon, but he... Maybe not, right? Devonport. Out of Shadursky. He sells the defender. They finally get behind our defense. It's it's blocked again. Samianto. Melish. How can Melish be 6.6? 6.7. .6? 6 Come on, Gibbs. Gibbs to Shadursky. It's, it's Clark. It's, it's blocked again. <laughs> it's offside. Man, I can't. I just moved the highlights now. I can't, I can't do key highlights anymore. I, I cannot do comprehensive highlights. It's, it's just too nerve wracking for me. I, I had to push it up. Okay, what we're going to do now is, I'm going to take a chance, right? Dennis Shaburni is playing like quite badly. Going to bring on, um... This guy, Ben Nugent. How would you like to be a striker? Yes, don't worry, son. We're turning you into a target man on the tank. Tactics, player, cross aim, <laughs> the target man. Cross aim, the target, man. Guys, let's go. We've got Ben Nugent now. We've actually taken our our defender and asked him to go forward as a target, man. It's a, it's a crazy move, but 
there's at least somebody for them to cross the ball to. <laughs> yes, I know. Pass into space, hit early cross. Um, distribute quickly. Do not prevent short goalkeeper distribution. No, we... we yeah, do not prevent. Call your shape, boys. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. We've got Gibbs now. Into the box. <laughs> Heartbreak. Heartbreak. Heartbreak, man. 87 minute. <laughs> they have undone us with a free kick. It's not even offside. It's really painful. It's so painful, okay? They played well. They actually, did, they, we actually played well. Paul suffers debut rate cut. Paul's banned for one match. Why in two weeks confirm? It's so disappointing. We played so well for 85 minutes. One man down. All right. And we just. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm, I'm actually kind of like, this is, yeah, this is where we are. We are right here. But I have faith that we can pull ourselves. But this is going to be a really tough season. I'm going to have to stay true to my belief that this is perhaps the best system. And the strategy has always been the same. The strategy has always been the same. It's hold out, hold out. Just, just if you need a better player, you look, wait until the Jerry transfer window keep your scouting uh, your scouting center is now going to be really important I don't my DOF is just useless so he's not giving me good recommendations and here we, we still got teams like Crystal Palace Blackburn Sunderland Watford Swansea Derby Fulham Sheffield United clubs like this to come so we're going to have to do a lot better in the next couple of matches we played quite well if you look at this. I mean, like, in terms of possession, we didn't do badly. Action zones were telling me we weren't doing that badly. We were getting our chances. We created some decent chances. However, we couldn't find the back of the net. But things really became really difficult for us and Brad Potts was sent off because up to that point, we were doing quite well. And I just couldn't have a... I just couldn't execute a plan B. That's all. It's disappointing, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do more. And I'm looking at the schedule as I'm looking at the schedule as well. And I'm gonna have to do something about this day: match preparation, attacking movement, match preparation, defensive shape. Yeah, we're gonna have to take it easy. I'm gonna have to recovery rest here. Yeah, and hopefully we do okay again here. I'm going to have to do the whole set-piece routine again. Attacking corners. <laughs> set-pieces. Uh, defending corners. Set-pieces. Um, attacking free kicks. And set-pieces. Defending free kicks. Yeah, we, we're preparing for every match the same way. This is a... Because in the championship, you don't have many days to really train. Right? You're going to have to depend on stuff like this. And then where I can squeeze in... I'm just going to squeeze in something like this is overall. I'm not going to get much chance here, right? So I might as well just do general outfield. There isn't much chance. Here, here we go again. Match preparation, attacking movement, match preparation, defensive shape. Come out of this. Physical recovery. Rest. And rest. And basically do the same thing here set pieces attacking free kicks set pieces attacking corners this is how we're gonna have to do this because they, they, this it's just the way the championship is there just ain't enough time this is probably gonna be the longest this is probably gonna be the longest season i've ever played because it's not gonna get any easier i mean we had we had things going for us, right? At the start of the game. 
I mean, I've thought of other systems as well, but I, these are the players that I have. I mean, I want. I was toying with the idea of a three four one two. Now, why a three four one two? I'm thinking about playing them as wing backs, and then the problem then becomes the two players in midfield. I need players with who are good enough to cover the ground, but I've got Joe Hanks. Mm, I've got George Bell. They're all young. I don't really have a player that I can stamp his authority or create chances from that position. So that's a problem. I mean, there could be one option. There could be one option. I haven't explored it completely yet, but that's the nature of this game, isn't it? Right? So I'm going to have to try some things out, maybe in the match against Blackburn. And yes, that's going to be <laughs> the, probably the focus of the next show because... I might as well, like, you know, slowly get there, right? So I share the experience with you guys as well. We're in the relegation zone. It's a pretty difficult challenge. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Kingstonian Diaries. If you have any questions, please look me up on Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com, my website. Once again, I want to thank everybody for their continued support on this channel. Make this kind of show possible for everybody else. You guys take care. Have a good one. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.